What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. I've been gone for about two weeks because my camera decided to fail on me and I haven't been able to film anything until I got a new camera and that camera is also unfortunately my phone so I've been in a bit of a tight spot. I got a new camera, new phone, we're going to be able to start filming some more videos and I'm excited to be back. Um, been working on some stuff out in the fish room as you can see behind me. This stand is a little bit different. We did have a five and a half gallon here, which is now up here on this rack. Look at that, all them five and a half gallon tanks right there. Pulled all these tanks out from underneath these over here, under storage, and they're now set up on a rack. We got one fish in quarantine here, got injured. Uh, one of my wife's bubble eyes that were in my 125 got stuck between some rocks. So he's in here with some salt. He's doing good. He'll probably be going back in that big tank tomorrow. And I also moved the 29 gallon tank from here to there because it fits with that 20 gallon perfectly on this double stack 55 gallon stand. So if you guys want to have three tanks, you can have a 20, a 29, and a 55 in a stand. You can watch my stand video for that. Worked really good. And uh, overall, I think that looks good. The reason I'm moving that tank is because this stand is going to get rebuilt. This 75 is going to be coming up here on top. And I'm going to be rebuilding the bottom shelf of this stand for to hold a 150 gallon tank which is going to be a native tank. I live in Pennsylvania, so I'm going to go catch my tank inhabitants, and I'm going to put them in there and give them a good life. And, um, yeah, that'll be that. So those two tanks there, I'm building the stand, are going to go here. We're going to have the 20 long with Peekaboo the Axolotl in the top here. And then we're going to have a 10-gallon tank. And down on the bottom, I have a special project that I'm working on. And if you guys didn't know, it's Black Friday weekend right now, Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Pet Supplies Plus is having a... A uh, dollar per gallon sale, not sponsored by the way, I'm just letting you guys know if you're in the need of a tank up to 29 gallons, it's a dollar a gallon, get down there and get yourself a tank. I got one, I got a special project I'm working on, and I'm having a informal challenge with Dustin J of the Aquatic Gurus YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to show you guys what we're working on. Okay, so what we're working on is me and Dustin are going to be having a little friendly competition building aqua terrariums. So basically, if you don't know what that is, it is a fish tank that's filled up with water about this far, and the rest of it's all open air, and you have a large rockscape either on one side or both sides, and you build waterfalls off of them, and you have terrarium plants as well as aquatic plants, maybe some fish or shrimp or something like that in there, depending on how much water volume you have. Um, and overall, they look really cool. If you don't know what that is, you can look at this picture right here for an example. So basically, um, he's going to be using a 29-gallon tank. I bought a 20-gallon because that's what I have room for. And we're going to have a little build-off competition um, just to see, you know, creativity between the two of us. Um, so these are the supplies I have right now. I've got the 20-gallon high. Um, I've got a little pump in here, which the gallons per hour might be a little bit too high on that. I might have to get another one or figure out a way to slow the flow on this one. As well as I have some um, extruded plastic board here. And we're going to be cutting that up, building the sculpture w with that, and then you attach the rock and decor to that, and that's how you build your whole scape. So I'm excited to be building this with him. Um, we've been talking for a little bit on it, and I'm excited to see what we both make. So I'm going to head back into the fish room now, give a couple more updates on things, and that'll be the video for today. Okay, so the last couple quick updates out here in the fish room. Um, if you noticed, I was just in the kitchen. My 55-gallon tank is gone, um, and it's really unfortunate because we needed somewhere to put our Christmas tree, and that tank was in the way. So we moved it into the fish room. It is now over here with the goldfish. These are my Tomasabas. And uh, if I get close enough here, you can tell the difference on the light with these, by the way. With 5,000 Kelvin and 10,000 Kelvin, you can really see the color difference. This is a lot more blue where this is a lot more natural daylight. Just as an example, throw that in there. Anyway, let's get real close here. You'll notice all the blackbeard algae in here is dead. When I moved the tank from my kitchen into here, I decided, why not kill off all the blackbeard algae while I'm at it? So I went ahead and while the tank was drained, I sprayed everything down. Um, now I did take the sponge filter and the hang on back filters didn't run that media while I was doing all that. I had that cycling in another bucket with these guys temporarily so that I didn't kill all the beneficial bacteria off and uh, killed all the blackbeard algae. So I'm going to get some snails in here or an algae eater of some sort to eat this off 
and you know it'll be good to go so these guys are happy to be in here back in their home and uh, you know I'm happy to be back on YouTube making videos so that's pretty much it for right now guys thanks for watching this video keep an eye out for the build on that um, aqua terrarium I'm gonna be filming me building that um, I don't know when it's gonna be coming out because I'm gonna work slowly on it so and Dustin's doing the same thing so until next time guys I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching